Uh, going back to Friday, we're talking about South Adams at Pioneer. Pioneer beat a very good Winnemac team yeah. last week. Uh, another number one team in Winnemac. Uh, South Adams beat the reigning state champs in 1A, though. So teams coming off really big wins for their programs. And at this point in the playoff, I guess every win is big. Uh, seeing this one on paper, a lot of people are going to be picking Pioneer. How does South Adams take control of this game? How does South Adams get a victory on Friday night? Uh, you know, quick start for them. You know, Pioneer's putting up 50 points a game. Uh, that's going to be huge, trying to keep them off the scoreboard as much as possible. You know, South Adams only allowing eight points a game in the playoffs thus far. So that defense has, has risen to the occasion, but has not faced an offense near the caliber of Pioneer. So that is the huge thing going into Friday is can South Adams match up with Pioneer uh, with that defense going against that offense. Well, yeah, you mentioned the offense of Pioneer. They totaled 401 yards last week against Winnemac, held Winnemac to 210. <laughs> Doubled them in yardage. Yeah. Um, what are going to be some of the, the main keys? Is it, is it big plays? Because we saw South Adams really... I was down in Burn for a little bit of the game last week. They really limited the passing game of Tri-Central. Tri-Central rolled out their quarterback quite a bit. They had great coverage. Jarek Wanner had an interception. These guys made plays defensively. How can they do that against a team that uh, probably has an even more vaunted offense than Tri-Central does? Yeah, you got Samuel Kaiser, a quarterback, and Justin Murch, a running back, and, and two prolific guys for Pioneer. Uh, the quarterback is, is, is a lot like Riley Neal in that he can beat you with his arm or his, his legs. He has 33 total touchdowns on the year. So... Um, does that added dimension, that dual threat, um, create problems for South Adams? I thought they were able to really keep the quarterback of Tri Central in the pocket. He was not going to beat them with his legs last week. Now, uh, are, do you have a defense that can play the pass well and also win the, the battle up front and kind of prevent that guy from going nuts and running all over you? So that's the big question for South Adams. I kind of mentioned this before with uh, with Snyder, but how high is South Adams riding? Because if you're talking about a team in the regular season that was just three and six, I know they are a one A school in a conference that has you know a four A program like Leo, bigger programs like Jay County, even Woodlands two A. Yeah. Um, but given the fact that they kind of took their lumps early in the regular season, how important was that, and how high are they riding now that they're facing one A teams similar to themselves? It's huge, and I think you've seen the dividends paid the last few weeks that they've run against teams that just are not going to do things that they haven't seen this year. I thought the interesting thing for South Adams is in the course of the regular season, they were 0-2 against one A teams. <laughs> and then didn't beat a 1A team in the, in the, in the regular season. Well, throw out the record with Adam Central. Throw out the record with Adam Central. You know, Central you know but they did beat Woodland. So, you know, a big 10-9 win over Woodland. So, yeah. with South Adams, I think confidence, obviously, is a huge thing now. And, and they've knocked off the defending state champions. Now they go on the road against a pioneer team that a lot of people are, are expecting them to win. And they're going in there with house money. They're saying, you know, we already beat the defending state champs that nobody thought we could beat, including me. And, and now they're going to Pioneer, and, and they're, they're hoping to prove a lot of people wrong again. We don't talk a lot about them during the regular season, but maybe we've overlooked Derek Warner as a player. I think so, One yeah. One of the better players in the area. Not only does he do it offensively, he had a big interception early in that game yeah. to stall the, the tri-central offense. He's a lot like an ACAC, ACAC version of, of Pearson Harnish, in my yeah. opinion. Just a two-way guy, uh, a big leader offensively, makes a lot of plays defensively, not a flashy player. But uh, really the heart and soul of that team on both sides of the ball, and he's a lot like Pearson Harnish. We talk a lot about Pearson Harnish, and like you mentioned, not a lot about Derek Warner, but I think they're, they're two similar guys. And Rick Burkhalter there, I know uh, he wasn't the head coach at Belmont, but was an assistant at Belmont when they made their state championship run. He knows a little bit about making it in the postseason and, and, and what it takes to be successful. Um, how much is this team kind of taken on? He's, he's, a, he's a quiet guy, but you can yeah. tell there's intensity. Yeah. How, very business-like. How much has this team taken on maybe his personality to get things done on a Friday night? They don't look at all the, all the talk, all the scuttlebutt out there. Yeah, I think you know he's really kind of meshed with this team and that they have pers- picked up his personality. Talking to him Sunday he, and Friday night, he's just – He's just kind of laid back guy, but you can tell, you can see that intensity on game night that he, that he really comes with, and the guys really, really uh, respect that and, and come around to play. And they had a great game plan on Friday. Really knew what he could do against Tri Central based on last last year, and hopefully they got a good play, game plan on Friday. All right, should be very interesting. Three teams with Three one win, one win separating them. And a trip to Lucas Oil Stadium, we'll have to see how it all turns out on Friday and on Saturday. Yeah, I know. He's, he's Justin Kenny from the News Sentinel. I'm Glenn Marini, and we'll talk to you next week on Inside the Zone.